Hi, uh, welcome back to Daggy's Toy Box. Daggy back again. These are monsters in my pocket. They're minifigures. These are from the late 80s, early 90s, if I'm not mistaken. And as you can see, I've got quite a few. And as you can see, the first series are these here that are one solid color. Uh, as you can see, they did come in different colors. Uh, and these you see here that are multicolored are from a later series. In this video we're just going to look at the uh, original or earlier versions of the Monsters in My Pocket figures and if we get a good response from this we'll go ahead and look at the rest of them in a second video. So we will start with the green. And uh, what you're going to find here is different creatures from uh, from horror movies, from uh, folklore, mythology, and uh, as you can see, they do have quite a bit of detailing. I'm not sure what this one's called, but it looks pretty cool. And it's a soft, rubbery material. Pretty cool. For the sake of time, I'm going to try to go fairly fast through these. Uh, our second green one here is a dinosaur top creature. Kind of in a, almost looks like he's in a fighting stance there, like he's about to punch somebody. Uh, before we go any further, we'll get a quick size comparison. Here's a uh, Star Wars droid, a uh, three and three quarter scale. So you can kind of gives you an idea of what size these figures are. Next we have a Sasquatch type of creature. Pretty cool. And that's the Sasquatch. And this one appears to be some sort of uh, Possibly some sort of multi-armed deity or something. Pretty cool sculpt. You know, and they and they didn't have to put the detail into the back of the sculpt necessarily, but uh, it's definitely got detail on the back. And uh, all around, these are just really nice minifigs. Next, we have this uh, serpent creature, or at least it has a serpent's body some sort of wings and an almost human face pretty pretty wild then we have a uh, kind of traditional vampire that's a cool one and yeah you can see some of these uh, are a little scuffed nothing major though uh, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is on the backs of these figures, there's numbers. Uh, this one happens to be number 10. And I believe this has something to do with the rarity of the figure, though I'm not 100% certain on that. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type figure. Multi-headed dragon. Pretty sweet. Once again, a lot of nice little detail here. And then this guy. Once again, an almost human like face. Pretty wild. And, and a lot of these are pretty wild. Unfortunately, a lot of them I don't know the names for. But let's go ahead and look at the next bag. Uh, I'm, I can't really remember what all colors there were. Uh, here I have red, green, purple, and yellow. But there may have been other colors as well. Uh, this one kind of looks like a zombie. Pretty sweet. And this is actually a duplicate of this one in the red color scheme. do have a couple of duplicates here. Uh, can't remember what this guy is. Uh, 
like I said, these guys are very flexible rubbery material. Here we have some type of dwarf, maybe. Maybe a troll. Maybe an orc. But he does have a beard. See the numbers there on his back. Some sort of goblin type creature. He's got his arms in a weird uh, position there. And a werewolf. I like that one. He's howling. And the Kraken. Pretty sweet. I like this one a lot too. Cool little monster. Uh, I do remember at one time there was a comic book series based on these toys. Don't remember too much about it, but I remember having a few issues. And if I'm not mistaken, there might have even been a cartoon. I'll have to look that up. Alright, this is another very weird one. With yet again a human type face on some type of creature's body. And a tail with uh, pincers on the end. It's another wild one. Another one, I'm not sure of the name. Uh, I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit here, guys, for the sake of time. These will be the last three of the red ones I have. Pretty cool. I may end up splitting this into two videos uh, if it gets too long. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.